They say first impression is a last impression, but apparently this does not apply to Uranus. The seventh planet from the sun and the coldest in our solar system, humans have only visited it once, for about six hours in 1986. Based on this mission's findings, scientists declared Uranus and its moons dead. Nearly 40 years later, new research is out and it appends everything we have understood about this icy world. Apparently the planet is very much active, its moons could have oceans and support life. So why did humans get it so wrong the first time? And does life exist on Uranus? Here's a report. This icy ringed world is Uranus. It's the seventh planet from the sun. It's also the third largest, the coldest, and arguably the weirdest planet in our solar system. But apparently, it's not as weird as we believe. Because according to new research, this enigma of a planet has been fooling us for nearly 40 years. Humans have only visited Uranus once. In 1986, NASA's Voyager 2 made the first and so far only visit to the planet. It took nine years and travelled 2.8 billion kilometres to reach the mysterious planet. But once the Voyager got there, it spent only six hours collecting data. And everything we know about the planet has depended on what happened in those six hours. Which is where we went terribly wrong. Because the Voyager caught Uranus on a bad day. New research shows that when the spacecraft flew past the planet, there was a powerful storm. The sun was raging. It was creating solar wind. So powerful that it changed the landscape of Uranus. When Voyager 2 took a close-up of Uranus, it sent back pictures of the planet and its five major moons. And the scientists thought its findings were strange. The spacecraft indicated that the planet and its moons were inactive, which is unlike others in the solar system. The Voyager also showed that its magnetic field was distorted. A planet's magnetic field is crucial. It traps any gases and other materials coming off the planet and its moons. The material could be from oceans or other geological components. And by studying the magnetic field, we can know a lot about the planet. Voyager 2 found that Uranus's magnetic field was quashed, and there were no signs of geological activity, which meant that the planet and its moons were inactive. This came as a huge surprise, because it made Uranus one of its kind in our solar system. But this finding was wrong, and the solar storm was to blame. Its winds blew material away from Uranus and temporarily distorted the magnetic field. Meaning Uranus and its five largest moons aren't as strange as we thought. They are most likely not dead. They are not sterile worlds. In fact, they may have oceans. They could be capable of supporting life. So, trust issues aside, this throws up a lot of questions. And NASA wants to answer them. It has been nearly 40 years since their last visit to Uranus. And now, NASA plans to launch a new mission, the Uranus Orbiter and Probe. It's expected to launch in a decade's time. It'll take a closer look at this mysterious planet in the outer reaches of our solar system. And hopefully, understanding Uranus correctly this time will not be out of reach.